Alright folks, what we have here is an Olight S1 Baton flashlight. It's a small EDC flashlight that runs off of a uh, CR123 or an RCR123 rechargeable battery. And uh, I'm going to do a couple modifications to it in this video, so I like it a little bit better than when it came out of the box. So go ahead, grab yourself a cold one, come on back, and uh, we'll get started. Alright, as I mentioned, this is an EDC flashlight that I picked up from Olight, and I'm very happy with it. And uh, it's been in a couple of my videos already. I'm carrying it around, trying to get used to it, and I'm going to do a review uh, instead of a first impressions type video, and I'll include some beam shots in that uh, before we get started. But there's a couple of things I already did to it uh, to make it more carryable or user-friendly for me. One of them is, is I took the pocket clip off. This flashlight's so small that when it's clipped to your pocket, it doesn't, it, it's just too short, it, like it doesn't hold your pocket very well, it uh, kind of moves around a little bit. Uh, the next thing is, is that it's about the same size as this Phoenix flashlight that I've been carrying around for a long time, this EO5, but what's really nice about it is, is that this flashlight is much brighter and it has a button, a side button right here, you can see that right there. Um, but one of the things is because a flashlight so short, it's a little bit tough to manage. So what I did is I put a split ring in right here where it has a lanyard pickup. I don't know if you can see that or not. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a lanyard very similar to this one on there. The other thing is, if you watch, this is a problem. That magnet. If you pocket carry a flashlight and you have things like keys and a knife in your pocket or a small multi-tool like, say, this Leatherman, it just creates havoc in your pocket. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a lanyard on here and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take that batter, that magnet out of the flashlight. Okay, so first thing, I have a piece of paracord in here. It's about a foot and a half long and it's blue because this flashlight's blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a snake knot lanyard. Uh, I have a video on how to tie a snake knot, snake knot lanyard, and there's plenty of them out on YouTube. But basically, what you want to do is take your left-hand side, put it over top of your right-hand side, and come underneath like that. Then you want to take your right-hand side, come under the left, and then through this hole that you made. And what we want is this lanyard to be up tight, nice and close and personal to the flashlight. So we just go ahead and uh, and pull this tight. And then we're going to repeat this knot a few times. Alright folks, so now that I've repeated the knot a few times on here, I think it was six, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut this off. Pretty short and close to the actual lanyard. And then one side at a time what I'll do is go ahead and melt that and then as it cools Then you get a little bit of a finished edge like that. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the other side. And there we go. I have a lanyard on there. Now, this knot is not 100% uniform. Some of these knots are a little bit tighter than others. And what will happen is, over the next few days, it will even out much like this one has. Alright, for the last piece, what I want to do is I want to take this tail cap off. And I want to take this, this magnet out. Because I think it's a pain in the ass. So you can even see that it holds the battery on there. And I just don't like it. Now, if you take a look in there, you'll see... Let's see if I can zoom in on this. this uh, copper spring. So all we really have to do is take that out and then we can get the magnet out. And I'm not sure if this tool is going to work or not. I'm not sure if these uh, pliers are fine tipped enough. But basically what I want to do is I want to get in here get a hold of this copper wire and this is actually being uh, 
affected by the magnet was pulling my multi-tool over place. So here's a spring. We need to get this back in there so it holds the battery. But this is the magnet. And you can see, I mean, that magnet is no joke. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. It's uh, pretty strong. So this is probably one of those rare earth magnets or something. <laughs> I just hooked it onto my lamp. You heard that, I'm sure. So let's go ahead. Let's get this back in there. And uh, we should be good to go. Just having a little bit of trouble. There we go. We're back in business. No magnet on the battery. The odd thing about this flashlight is you put the, the flashlight in backwards. Some of these flashlights will come with... It's called reverse polarity protection, so it doesn't really matter which way you put them in. But this one actually has the battery diagram on the side of the flashlight. So let's go ahead and see if we can turn this baby on. There it is in moonlight mode. There it is, a little brighter. There it is, a little brighter. And there it is, super bright. And you guys probably might not even be able to see that. Let's turn it off. All right, well, there's a couple of mods that uh, I made to the flashlight. Lanyard makes it a little bit easier to grip in my hand when I'm fooling with this button and uh, I don't have to worry about things sticking to the back of the battery. Thanks everybody.